this album's significant other, it was the true breakout album for this band, Limp Bizkit, and ultimately go seven times platinum, featuring such classic tracks as Nookie, In Together Now, and of course, Break Stuff. And all the success and hype from this album would lead the band all the way to Woodstock 1999. Give me and if any of y'all out there have seen the Netflix documentary Trainwreck Woodstock 99, you know that this event was already a doomed shite show before Limp Biscuit ever took the stage. And well, when you take that level of angst and add a band that thrives on that, you have the makings of a rock and roll disaster. While performing Break Stuff, Fred Durst would rile up the crowd by saying they needed to let all of their negative energy go. Later, Fred Durst said that he meant this as a way for fans to start jumping around to the music, not riot, but when that song Break Stuff started really picking up, well, that's just what the F the concert goers actually did. Many people have blamed Fred Durst and Limp Bizkit for inciting these violent, chaotic riots. Limp Bizkit went out there and did what they do, and had the festival organizers done what they were supposed to do, none of this would have happened. Though I do think that Durst has been made into somewhat of a scapegoat here, 